My name is Senor Daly, and in this video we are going to talk about the three type of verbs that they are in Spanish in the present tense. There are three types of verbs in Spanish. You will distinguish them by their endings. These are AR verbs such as hablar, H A B L A R, comer, C O M E R, to eat, and vivir, B I B I R, to live. Now, I want you to write down hablar on a sheet of paper or in your copybook. H A B L A R, hablar. Now I want you to put a vertical line down your coffee book and after the line I want you to write the word comer C O M E R which is to eat. After comer I want you to draw another vertical line down the page and after that line I want you to write the verb vivir to live V I V E R with your biro, I want you to underline the AR in hablar. I want you to underline the ER in comer. And I want you to underline the IR in vivir. All Spanish verbs end in either AR, IR, or ER. AR, ER, and IR. I will call these endings the end. So you'll understand what I mean by the end as the video or the podcast continues. To say I speak in the hablar section, we need to forget about or drop the end. So imagine if you took your finger and you placed your finger over the AR part of hablar. So I want you to do that now. I want you to take your finger and I want you to cover the AR part of hablar. What are you left with? You're left with H-A-B-L. That is what is known as the stem. So think of the H-A-B-L as the trunk of a tree and the A-R being its branches. So when you take the branches away from the tree, you're left with the trunk. Okay? So with this trunk, H-A-B-L, you add on various endings depending on I speak, you speak, he speaks, we speak, ye speak, and they speak. So let's do this now. So you're going to write down hablar in the hablar section of the table. So let's get started. Hablo. H-A-B-L-O. And underline O. The next one is hablas, you speak, H-A-B-L-A-S, and underline A-S. The next one is he or she speaks, now he is L and she is A-A, E-L-L-A, because the double L is pronounced as a Y in Spanish. So you have habla, H-A-B-L-A. Do you notice a pattern here that when I told you to take off the branches or take off the or drop the end for the AR, you're left with H A B L. So that is the same throughout all the endings. So hablo, hablas, habla. We'll get to the next section. Nosotros hablamos. We are speaking. So what do you do? You cover the AR with your finger or drop the end. 
you're left with H-A-B-L, and you add on the ending, AMOS, A-M-O-S. When we're using ye speak, it's ablace. H-A-B-L, A accent, oh yes. And the last one, they speak, is ablan. So what do we do here to form ablan? How do we form it? Think about it for a moment. Okay, we take off the AOR and then we add AN, ABLAN, H A B L A N. So, like a rhyme, because Spanish is a very musical language, what clever ways can you use to remember this structure? O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, AN. O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, AN. Your turn. Te toca a ti. Your turn. Okay, so at this stage you should have a table divided in between three parts. One for hablar, one for comer, one for vivir. Now under this table, write the word a or. And underneath that, I am going to call out five sentences and I'm going to leave a blank in the middle and then I'm going to tell you the verb with the AOR with the end or with the branches on it and then you're going to put it in the right person. Now you can look at the table that I you've written to help you. So Danny La televisión. And the verb is mirar. Now at this stage, don't worry about understanding the word mirar. Mirar is to look at. So, but that's not the focus of the video. Mirar, I want you to write it down now. M-I-R-A-R. M-I-R-A-R. Have you written down? Now, I want you to figure out how you say Danny is watching TV. What do you do? Okay, you put your finger over the AR. So it's you M-I-R, mirror. You're left with the trunk. And Danny is he. So what ending would you use? Danny hablo la televisión? No, that's not correct. Danny hablan la televisión? No, that's not correct. And that's not even the right verb. I'm just checking to see if you were listening. Danny mira la televisión? Is that correct? It is. Another example. Los estudiantes, so the students, so that would be they, blank, musica. Now the verb is escuchar, so write this down. E-S-C-U-C-H-A-R. Escuchar, to listen to. So how do we solve this? What answer did you get? Did you get escuchan? Escuchan is correct. Okay, so we'll do one more. Yo, which is the emphasis form for me, I, yo, Blank, en un hospital. Okay, now I'll spell hospital, H-O-S-P-I-T-A-L. As I've said, H is silent. So hospital, and the verb is trabajar. I'll spell that, so write it down. T-R-A-B-A-J-A-R. -A -A so figure out what to do. 
you ignore the AR. And if you look at your table, what ending do you add? So, what did you get for the sentence? Yo trabajo en un hospital. Muy bien. Very good. Okay, now let's go to the second part of the table where you have comer. And we're going to fill that in. Okay, so for the list for comer, is as follows. The first thing you do is what? You take off the end. So, it's like putting your finger over the E-R and you're left with the stem or the trunk. C-O-M, come. So that's going to be the start of the spelling for all of the verbs for comer. So, the first one I eat is como, C-O-M-O, and underline O. The next one you speak is comes, C-O-M-E-S, and underline E-S. He or she eats is come, C-O-M-E, and underline E. We eat is comemos, C-O-M-E-M-O-S. And underline E-M-O-S. Ye eat is comes. C-O-M-E fada I-S. Or E accent. I-S. Comes. They eat is comen. C-O-M-E-N. Comen. Okay. So note when you're talking about I... With a or verbs and e or verbs, they both end in o in the i form. So hablo como. So it makes it a lot easier to learn. Now, let's go back to under the table where you've written your a or examples. Underneath a or, write e or as the title. Like the last example. I'm going to call out three sentences. I'm going to have a space in the middle and I'm going to give you the verb. And then you're going to figure it out of what to do. Are you ready? With pen in hand, write down these examples. Yo al profesor. Now the verb is comprender. I'll spell that. C. O M P R E N D E R. Comprender is to understand, but don't worry if you didn't know that. The focus of this lesson is to understand what happens when you take off the end and add the right ending. So, what ending do you use? What do you do? You take off the end. The end in comprender is. Or, so you cover that with your finger and you're left with comprend. So we're looking for yo, which is I understand the teacher. So look at your table. What is it? Comprendo. Muy bien. Very good. The next sentence. Mi madre a cocinar comida japonesa. And the verb you're using is aprender. I'll spell that for you so you can write it down. A-P-R-E-N-D-E-R. Aprender to learn. So mi madre is she. So she learns how to cook Japanese food. So what do we do? We have the E-R. We go to our table. And what is it? Aprende a cocinar la comida japonesa. Okay? So, the final example. Nosotros 
aprender español. So the verb is aprender, a p o r e n d e r. So what do we do? We take off the e r. We have aprend. And what do what ending do we add? E m o s. Nosotros aprendemos el español. So like with a or verbs, could you say this in a rhyme? O s a m o s a s n. O s a m o s a s n. Te toca a ti. Your turn. Now we've discussed a or verbs and e or verbs. What are the last type of verbs left? I or verbs. Okay, so go back up to your table, and we're going to fill in the third part of the table. Vivir, v i v i r, to live. So I live. Can you guess what I live would be? Bibo, b i b o. So you take off the i r, cover it with your finger. You have v i v, and you add o. So again, the o, the o form, the i form of a or, e or, and i or verbs are all o. Very simple to learn. You live will be vives, v i v e s. Now underline e s. He or she lives is vive, v i v e. We live is. Vivimos, v i v i m o s. We live. Ye live, are vivis, v i v i accent s. And they live, are v i v e n. Okay, so there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of things the same between the i r table and the e r table. A lot of them are similar. Like for example, the nosotros one is different. In E R you have E M O S, in I R you have I M O S, and same with vosotros. So you have the A R, E R, and I R. Okay, so let's go under the table, where you have the A R examples, the E R examples. And now you're going to write the heading I R, and we're going to. Work to three I R examples together. Example one. Maria. En crum. And the verb is vivir. V i v i r. So what do we do? You take off the I R, and you're left with vive. V I V, and you go to your list, and it's he or she. So vive in crum. Okay, second example. Mis hermanos, my brothers or sisters. Space, el valor. And the verb is compartir to share. Don't worry if you don't know that. Again, the focus is on the correct endings. So mis hermanos de. So have a guess there yourself without me telling you. You take off the i r, and because it's they, what ending do you use? Compartin. Okay, one last example. Two, which is you, followed by space. Muchos regalos en Navidad. So you receive a lot of presents in, during Christmas. The verb is recibir. R e c i b i r. 
Okay, so what do we do? Take off the INs or the IR and we look at our list and we have Tu recibo? No, it's not correct. Tu recibes? That is correct. Learn this AR, ER and IR table well as it is crucial for speaking and writing Spanish.